This is a demonstration of the uh, flow cell for the uh, Nano Plus HD, also for the uh, Nano Plus and the Delsa Nano. Um, you can see how the zeta potential flow cell um, shaped a little bit differently than the uh, usual zeta potential cells. It has parallel electrodes. Um, I'm going to plan on taking this apart and uh, showing you all the different pieces and then uh, reassembling it and then at the same time um, filling in the, uh, the sample. So first thing we're going to take the, the cap off. This is just a, a light blockage um, block. Then we pull this apart. And you have to be very careful about touching the edges of this glass. Um, you don't want to touch these sides because um, that's where the lights can be passing through. So you just kind of want to touch it on the edges. You pull it apart, you see an O-ring in this piece. You take this apart. See the glass. And you have an O-ring again on this side. Uh, these O-rings help to sit, make the seal around the glass. And around the electrodes, you unscrew the end and you have the curved shaped electrodes where you can see the O-ring is also on there to help kind of seal things up. The purpose of the uh, curved shaped um, electrode is to uh, focus the electric field towards the center. That way it um, reduces the amount of heating when you apply an electric field in a liquid. So we'll put this back in here. Now the only thing that's holding the glass in place is uh, pressure between my fingers. So you want to be sure that you do this in a you know on top of a table, very carefully. You don't want to drop this on the floor. It's kind of expensive to uh, replace. So we snap it back into place. Um, there's these uh, little stopper caps. Um, it comes in the accessory kit that comes with the Nano Plus. You have to get these out. And make sure you use these when you uh, fill with the liquid. So now we're gonna fill the cell. And take the caps off. Take a syringe. Um, you can use a one a milliliter syringe, three milliliter, or five. Um, I like to use probably about three. You place the empty one here on one side. Take the second syringe and you fill it with your suspension. Place it on the other opening and then here you just simply push down if everything is locked in place and sealed you should be able to see the other syringe move up so then you're just gonna go back and forth and the purpose of this is to eliminate the bubbles inside the cell you don't want any bubbles um, on the electrodes or in the area between the two electrodes or else it'll uh, interfere with the uh, electric field and the way you look for the bubbles is if you look inside the opening at a 15 degree angle where the light path is, you should be able to see uh, whether there's um, any air bubbles in there. Uh, as you push, you'll see them right racing across. Yeah, let's see if I angle it in there. Just kind of go back and forth. And once you see that there's no air bubbles moving across, um, very carefully, remove one of the syringes, plug it in. Same thing on the other side. Now you're ready for analysis. And once you place the instrument and perform the analysis and the analysis is complete, um, to remove the sample you want to be sure that you um, always remove the sample. You don't want to leave it sitting in the cell. It could dry up and crystallize and cause uh, issues. So you just want to take the caps off, leave one cap out, take an empty syringe like this, and then pull the sample out. You can also do get some um, clean syringes and then you know wash flush it out with water afterwards to make sure that it stays clean. 
and that's it for the uh, standard flow cell um, for uh, Zeta potential using the Nano Plus.